Okay, well here's a crazy thing to think about. Scientists have just discovered a new planet 14 light years away. The name of the planet is Wolf 1061C. Scientists say that this is the most inhabitable planet ever, so there could be humans on it. Imagine that. Hey, what's happening LP Army? Thank you so much for coming back. Today is Friday, TGIF. We've all made it here. I'm Landon, this is where I talk about the news and other interesting things around the world. In my last video, I asked all of you guys, who do you think is the best married celebrity couple? And this is what you guys said down here. And I also said, which two celebrities would be the best to like get married? Today's common question of the day is, where in the world would you guys want to live or what planet? Okay, so getting right into this, the planet Wolf 1061C, which is being called Super Earth, and that's because it's the most inhabitable planet that's found outside of our solar system. This planet is about 14 light years away. Scientists are saying that it's probably possible that this planet has water and humans living on it. This is actually one of seven planets that scientists believe could be capable of supporting life. Imagine how different humans would be living on totally different planets. I mean, there would be different inventions, different diseases. Maybe people live longer or maybe people live shorter. Humans on another planet, maybe they're like behind in technology and they're still cavemen. Or maybe they're from the future. They have things we have no idea. But who knows, this is like one of the most interesting things to think about. Imagine a human coming to Earth that's not from Earth. I would just want to be his friend and just talk to him as much as possible, like teach me everything. Okay, moving on to another group of scientists who made their own discovery. They have created a bionic eye that can restore sight to some blind people. The bionic implant is inserted into the eye and it delivers long pulses of electrical currents. The bionic eye works really well for people suffering from retinitis pigmentosa. Which is a really rare hereditary condition that causes gradual deterioration of the light, detecting cells in the retina, which can lead to blindness. So this new implant can potentially help 20,000 people living with this condition. From there, let's talk about this prisoner who's being released early because they're claustrophobic. 59-year-old Andrani Pubian, she had her sentence slashed after a lawyer said that she's actually suffering a lot more than other people with her jail time. She was originally convicted of three counts of ill treatment for forced feeding two dementia patients and burning them in scalding hot water. She was supposed to be in jail for 18 months, but it's reduced to a year. What do you guys think about it? Is this fair? Okay, this is very scary, but did you guys know that ISIS makes nearly $900 million a year from their oil revenue taxes and looting? It was reported that the military group, they spend about two thirds of their annual revenue on their army. ISIS has enough funds and predicted income to keep their military operations running as it currently is for the next three years. Scientists have revealed that they might have found a group of antibodies that could offer hope in creating an HIV vaccine. These antibodies are found within the body's immune system. They're known to bind and neutralize the virus. So a team of researchers at the Scripps Research Institute believes it might be possible to create a vaccine to prevent HIV transmission. Their findings show how a future vaccine might trigger the immune system to produce these antibodies more effectively, which would create a protection against the virus. This would be an amazing accomplishment because currently there's 35 million people who suffer from AIDS and HIV. And this is worldwide and at least 1.5 million people have died since 2013. Okay, let me take you guys over to Heathrow Airport in London where a man stabbed himself in the head a few times. It is believed that the man used an object that he picked up passing through all the airport security. Witnesses said it took about five minutes for airport security to get to this man and many people were seen running away in terror. The man was later taken away by police and paramedics, and now he's in the hospital with non-life-threatening conditions. Okay, there's this other incident at an airport, this time Mumbai in India. One of the workers was sucked right into the plane's engine, and he was instantly killed. Officials at the airport told the media that his body is still stuck in there, and they're trying to get it out. The investigation is ongoing right now. It's unclear why this man was that close to the engine. This is such a tragic incident. My condolences goes out to him, his family, and of course his loved ones. Okay, so quickly, there's a few celebrity birthdays today. First up, we we have Brad Pitt, he turns 51, and then we have Christina Aguilera, who only turns 34 years old, and of course, we can't forget about Steven Spielberg, who turns 68 today. The Survivor winner has been announced, so if you guys are not caught up, I would leave right now the video, and then come back in 20 seconds or something, and hope I didn't spoil it for you. So this season has had many ups and a lot of downs. It's been one of the craziest seasons I've ever seen, but finally, it came down to three people. It was Spencer, Jeremy, and Tasha. The votes were revealed in the 
finale and Jeremy took home all 10 votes, which is super impressive. What a sweep. I think he was the smartest and the hardest working player. Next season of Survivor is Brains versus Bronze versus Beauty. One person that stood up for me was Caleb from Big Brother America. Buddy, what are you doing there? He's on the Beauty team, but he can go for Bronze. This guy is a total beast. Let's go. Let's cowboy up. Let's saddle up and win. One Direction we all know is breaking up into the new year. They just finished their world tour, possibly for the last time ever as a group, One Direction. They performed 74 tour dates. Well, they just launched themselves on Forbes, highest paid celebrities under 30 years old, bringing in over $130 million. They beat Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran. Taylor Swift made about $80 million, but you know what? I think she made more than One Direction because One Direction has to split it up. You know, there's four of them, so 130 divided by four. It's less than $80 million. So, Taylor Swift, Good job. Over in France, they just put up 40,000 cameras in their subway system. These cameras were linked to a behavior tracking software. It detects high temperatures, raised voices, jerky movements, high anxiety. What these cameras are made to do is to predict a terrorist attack. So this next story is about a father who tried to come up with this way for his son to stop touching their Christmas tree. Because young kids, they just want to touch everything and it's annoying. So what he decided to do was pretty clever. Take a look at this picture right here. He put the Christmas tree on the ceiling, but the tree seems to be a little bit too long because the two year old can still touch the star. This took a lot of handiwork and a lot of patience, something a lot of us don't have. Well, there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys when I'm back here on Monday, but stay tuned for the weekend because Cordy has so many news stories for you guys, and you guys better stay tuned. So I'll see you guys then. So let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below. If you guys want more videos, you guys can look over here and click on them. You got Thursday's video over here, you got Wednesday's video over here. And also, today's Friday, today's Star Wars Day. Yesterday is Star Wars Day too, but it was sold out for me. But I'm going today, I'm gonna go watch Star Wars, like right now, like, like see you guys later, okay, bye.